guys, we're here in Chinatown, which is one of my favorite places to come and like hang out, get some great food for the low, you know, and of course film. I mean, it's great. So uh, we're finally here at the restaurant, Dim Sum Go Go. And like I said, they serve like vegetarian chicken. I mean, they do serve pork as well, but like this is one of the few places you can get like a variety of vegetarian and meat dishes. So um, I don't know, it's all good. It's all good, guys. That's just New York for you guys. Like people just walk right on through your shot. But we're gonna go in and get some food because I'm starving. So let's go. Okay, so let's get into a bit of history about Chinatown. Chinatown in New York is the biggest in the United States and holds the most Chinese immigrants in the Western Hemisphere. It's hard to imagine Chinatown as anything other than a Chinese dominated area brimming with great food and culture. However, it was born out of the deep roots of racism. The area now known as Chinatown was formerly known as Five Points and was America's very first slum. Originally, it was inhabited by emancipated slaves and Irish immigrants. This area, which was known for its diseases, unemployment rate, and violence, was also one of the first areas in the United States where whites and blacks intermingled. Five Points is credited with being the birthplace of American tap, a dance form that combined Irish folk dance and African dance. It is also said to be the first area where you could hear early forms of jazz music. It wasn't long before businesses began to spring up and Five Points became a budding neighborhood for the emancipated and immigrants. Of course, this is America. So the idea that blacks and whites could coexist just would not stand. The government began to flood Five Points with Irish immigrants who now felt entitled to the area because of the color of their skin. They began to form violent gangs and it wasn't long until they drove most of the emancipated to other areas in the city. When the Chinese arrived, of course, they were directed to the slums and like the former residents began to set up shop in Five Points. When they began to thrive, the government started to place bans on their income and housing, but Chinese were resilient. They united together and set up their own internal structures to counter government interference. It is for that reason that Chinatown still exists to this day. So let's go enjoy the fruit today labor, shall we? So we're gonna try some baked egg custard dim sum, some duck dumplings, some chicken dumplings, and the vegetarian assortment. Um, I'm super excited and I'm super hungry. I cannot wait to get my hands on it. And as you can see, there's, we got a little bit of tea going here. I'm a, oh, I made a little spilly spill, but that's all right. Damn it, they're out of the baked egg custard, which is the first thing I told you guys that I wanted to try. So now I'm just a little disappointed, but it's not gonna spoil the dim sum. One little dim sum being out is not gonna spoil the bunch. So uh, I can't wait to eat it still, and we'll see what happens. All right, guys, it's finally here. So we have the vegetarian platter and then the duck dumpling platter. And it's piping hot. Like, I cannot wait to eat this. So I'm going to try the duck. Oh. It's really sticky. I'm going to dip it in whatever this is. Ready? Mmm. It's hot, but... Mm. It's very hot. <laughs> As you can see, <laughs> it's very hot. As you can see from the steam, <laughs> as indicated, <laughs> but it's so good. You can taste the duck. It's very, very good. I'm gonna get into the rest of these guys, but stay tuned. This is a good place. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you so much. <laughs> Alright, babe. Oh, yeah, well, get, the, get the lotus for one. No, no, we... No, we got too much dumpling. <laughs> oh, yeah, with chili sauce. Mm -hmm. oh, okay. Got a mouthful. Mm. How is it? Different. <laughs> <laughs> I want to try it. <laughs> I'm going to try this one. <laughs> Slippery. I told you. <laughs> mm. It's 
different. I'm not sure if it's in a good way. Very slimy, crunchy, soft, but weird texture, very weird texture. That's one dip. That's my second dip. Got my hot chili. Put a turtle on fire dip. See that? See that? That's what it's all about right here. Dim sum. This is exactly what it's all about. So amazing. Mm. Mm. So nice. Got a nice little flavor of ginger. So good. <laughs> I can tell. So yeah, we're working our way through these veggie ones, and they're pretty good. Like, we're, I don't know which ones are which, but they're pretty good. And we got chicken. the chicken ones going here. So I'm gonna try one of the chicken ones. Yeah. Just gonna have this little dippity dip. Tippity beat at it. And a little bit of this. And a little bit of this. Ooh. Ready? Mmm. Mm. It's very chickeny. It's very chickeny. I should have just zoomed in. Very, very good. You wanna zoom in? <laughs> So good. So very, very good. Mm -hmm. You gotta try these. So good. Okay, guys. So we have finished this entire table. It was full of dim sum, as you saw. And I just had the last bite of one of the vegetable ones. It has something green in it. I don't know. It was good. And now we're about to move on to my favorite part, dessert. We're gonna go to Sweet Moment. That's on Mott Street. And, um... I mean, what can I say? Yeah, done? Yep, all done. Okay. Thank you. <laughs> but yes, dessert is on the rise. Stay tuned. We're about to get the check, which is my least favorite part of dinner. But it's a part that needs to be done. Really cheap. It's $37.97. So this is a good cheap meal. Great date night for two. I personally am full, but I can't wait to get to dessert. So we're gonna pay this bad boy, get out of here, and head over to my street for a sweet moment. Alright, let's go. We're here at Sweet Moment where we're getting some really good desserts. I'm super excited uh, to get that mango cheesecake. And we decided to get these little milk teas that have like little teddy bears on it. So I'm super, super, super excited. This is really, really fun. Ooh, he's bringing them over. I'm so excited. 
They're so cute. So freaking cute. Oh my gosh. So I got the red velvet. Mm -hmm. And Trini got the uh, tie, which is that one. And it has a cute little bunny on it. Like, oh, is it cute, baby? Yes, it is. It's super cute to me. And you got the, the cute pink. Yeah, I've got a little bear on bear. it. So without further ado, we're going to try them. I would love to. Drink the bunny. Oh, that's us, <laughs> Here it comes. Yes. So we got the mango cheesecake here, and then the Oreo bingzu. And it has like some brownies or something. Yep, brownies. It looks really, really good. Yummy. Yummy, yummy. To my tummy. And of course, this mango one, which looks amazing. It's got like cheesecake bites, a little cinnamon thing. It looks so yummy. I cannot wait to dig in. I'm gonna try this red velvet, okay? I'm so excited. Oh my god, even though I totally messed up my little bear, it's so good. It's milky. I can taste like the red velvety taste. I'm not usually a red velvet person, but the red color was just so cute. I had to have it. But it's really good. It's worth it. And I'm going to try my mango thing. I think we're supposed to have a spoon. So <laughs> I'm going to get a spoon real quick. Mmm, that's good. I'm gonna get a spoon, just right, I'll be right back. Back again. And I got spoons for us both. So, here we go. I'm trying to get a little bit of everything Ooh, in one bite. So good. Ready? mango flavor. The cheesecake bites are some of my favorite things to have in like a frozen de dessert. So good. And the frosted flakes, might I add, just very classy. Takes me to a better place in my life. So good. Okay, I want to see what Trini feels about his Oreo cheesecake, so bring it back. So he's going for his Oreo. <sighs> Let's start all the way from the chocolate, go all the way down. Mm -hmm. You really need a good taste, a good flavor. You need to get everything. When you mean everything, you must look. <laughs> See that? Chocolate, Oreo, and plus the other type of ice cream. Uh -huh. I'm gonna try his Thai tea as well. He dropped a little bit of chocolate in it, you can see. <laughs> so that should just make it extra more sweet, just like him. It's good, but I like the red velvet better. So we're gonna go ahead and kill these desserts real quick. And we'll check back with you at the end of the bill. Oh, by the way, this cost about 28 bucks, but it was well worth it. So, good. so see you at the end of the day.
Okay guys, we have finally reached the end of date night in Chinatown and it was so much fun. I mean, the dessert was amazing, like no lie. I will come back here again and eat this mango cheesecake every day. Like it is so yum. I mean the Oreo one was good, but whatever. The mango one is where it's at. I'm telling you, sweet moments knows what they're doing with some fucking desserts, okay? Next time I come, if I have some space, I'm trying that waffle. But the teas were amazing, and the dim sum at uh, Dim Sum Go Go was amazing. I just felt so blessed and humbled that I have a boyfriend that will follow me around with a camera. <laughs> Shout out to Trini, who is my rock, who holds me down. Thank you so much for joining me on Natural Typical News today. Can't wait to see you next time for some great food, some history, and some great fun. See you guys next time. Thank <laughs> you.